there is no good or bad. There just is when you're creating. So I've had a history in the fashion industry, modeling at a very young age. I was wondering why I'm drawn to certain images and why those attract me. And I'd been using fashion magazines, breaking down mass-produced images. I'll spend days just sitting in my bedroom, cutting, cutting, cutting. I really enjoyed using the emotional content that's already in ready-made images and combining it with just the very physical abstract paintings. By making these masks, I was hoping that the viewer can find themselves in the work, see certain things that maybe another person wouldn't see. After looking at my work once it's finished, it was something I personally just wanted to explore. It gave me a sense of control by taking the eyes out and then having them be just a material and a way to form the composition. So some of my techniques are letting a cup of paint that I've just been mixing colors in for days. You know, it, it looks like an interesting color to me, so I'll pour it on the canvas. After spending days just gluing individual eyes and little pieces on, and so who cares if some of that gets covered and what shows, but it's that process of being able to move in and out of that control that my piece and my work started to develop. I've had this whole story with this piece of absolutely hating it and just, I almost got rid of the canvas, I couldn't look at it, I felt like everything I was doing just didn't add up. And then I poured some white water on top of it and then worked back into it. And then I got to a point that I felt really comfortable with it. During the show, several people came up to me and said it was one of their favorites. My parents were very supportive when I was a child to always have art materials ready for me. I would say I create something every day, whether it's just in a sketchbook or whether it's on a large canvas really making a mess. I think it was that transition out of the fashion industry that I really started to have a curiosity what the material is and what those images meant. Letting go of that tight control of what you think your artwork should look like and just be loose in the way that you use the materials and you might be able to surprise yourself.